Hello everybody, welcome to Things to Do When You're Bored. Today we're going to build a house. Uh, let's go ahead and start a new world. Actually, you know what? Scratch that. Let's go into... Let's go into an old world and... Yeah. Now you all may remember remember this house. This is the one I built last season. And yeah. I sort of came to realize that this may be a little too blown out of proportion cuz in the grand scale of things this is kind of outrageous. So today we're going to build kind of a simple house. And yeah, so let's move over here. To a nice little village. As you can see, this is a prosperous little town because they've got so many houses and there's so many villagers. Hold on a second, my cat just did something. Okay, my cat's eyes are really wide. I think my cat's on LSD. Because she's going kind of crazy. You alright there? I think she's fine. So yeah, moving on. Let's go ahead and build a nice little house. Now the first thing you're going to want to do when building a house is look for a location. Because in the grand scheme of things, location, location, location. Or, or something along those lines. So let's, let's build it right about here. Charlie, stop scratching. Charlie. She seriously had to wait till, while I was recording. Kind of loud. Hold on. Hang on. It's probably good. So let's build. Let's build a simple house right about here, and let's get the sheep out of the way. The villagers don't like me killing animals for some reason. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and build a nice little house, just like a simple little cottage. Nothing too serious. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And usually when I build houses, Charlie quit it. Usually when I build houses, I like. To put these little struts, like sort of as support units. I would also like to apologize for how bad the setup is. Like how bad the footage is, because right now I basically attached my phone to the tripod of a broken telescope. And it's held in place by various um, thumbtacks, some tape, and a cardboard box. Or rather, a few slices of cardboard box. 
So yeah. So if it looks bad now, I would just like to, whoops. Sorry, I hit the camera just a bit. And it may look bad now, but it could be a lot worse. So, yeah. Um, next, whenever I build, like to build a house, I usually try to make it somewhat unique. Like, give it a little touch of... Uh, I would like to say a little signature, because... In the everyday world of Minecraft, there's really not a lot of sim. There's not a lot of diversity, because the only inhabitants here are villagers, sh animals, and monsters. So, when building your house, I suggest giving it like a little personal touch, and I will be putting that personal touch in just a few moments, but I just want to get the basic view of the house done. So, I'd say this is coming along nicely. It's not going to work. Mm -mm. There we go. So yeah, I guess for this things to do when you're bored, I just wanted to do something simple because I've, because what I've been trying to do the past couple times has been kind of outrageous, like and slightly stupid. So I, I just wanted to return to the roots and bring something a little simple. Now, I don't really have anything to talk about, really. I just felt like building a house. So, yeah. Now, we're going to put in some, some stairs as roof. As, like, the stairs will function as a roof. Because that's usually how it goes in Minecraft. Actually, no. Let's go for a... Let's go for a spruce wood. There, there it is. Some, some nice spruce stairs for a spruce roof. Really sprucing it up. Now, as I was saying before, the past couple times when I've tried recording something, I it's always been like so ridiculous and kind of, kind of un. I almost want to say. I almost want to say unorthodox that it was pretty much destined to fail. So yeah, I just this one's kind of simple. You can't really mess up when you're building a house, unless of course you put like something completely stupid in it. So yeah, just get like a simple little house shape going on. I would also like to point out that I am running on like six hours of sleep, so not really six hours, like maybe a nap, like a nap and a half. Something like that, and I'm really tired, so if I'm if I'm not talking, if I'm kind of rambling on about nothing, that's probably because of lack of sleep. I even had like a six-page, I had a script ready for this about stuff I was going to say, lost the script and forgot what I was supposed to say, so. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to put, the roof kind of sticks out a bit. I like that. Not like that, like that. So I'm gonna put it in like that. So yeah, uh, this house is kind of coming together 
pretty nicely and we're just about finished with it. Uh, after I complete the roof, we pretty much only need to put in the furniture. That really shouldn't take too long. I mean, every house needs to have furniture. But I still haven't added that one finishing touch that really makes it my own. Because now when you're at home building your house, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Like, you can, if you make a mistake, you know what they say, just turn it into a bird. Or something like that. I, it's been a while since I watched... Oh no, I dropped it. Now it's getting kind of dark, so I'm going to go ahead and set time to zero. That way there's still light out, and you can actually see what's going on. So yeah. There we go, the roof is finished. So let's pop in here, and put in some furnishing. Now in Minecraft, you're gonna want some light, otherwise you'll get some monsters up in your house, and you don't want that. So yeah, it's a nice little interior of a house. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna tear up this side of the house, make it into like a little kitchen. It's gonna be kind of cramped. It's like one of those mini houses. It's like a mini miniature house. There's not gonna be a lot of room. So. What kind of floor? We can have a quartz floor, but then again, that would be a little too showy for the neighbors. Let's just go for a standard stone slab floor. Yep. Nice little countertop. Get yourself a furnace. Little crafting bench, because you're always going to need one of those. And. Hmm. Little brewing stand. Little brewing stand. Oops. Hit the camera again. this, because it's kind of, there we go, so you got like a li nice little kitchen going on, you're going to need some chests for store, for storage, excuse me, and so we're going to put like a little chest there, and a chest there, so it kind of, it kind of doesn't obscure the view of the nice crops, so, yeah, then after that we're going to put in, every minecrafter needs a bed, so we're going to go ahead and put the bed um, right about here. And you're going to want two beds, because this can work on its own, but you're going to want two to make it seem really spacious. You're going to want a lot of room. And likewise, you're going to want to have a dresser. So we're going to put your dresser right about there, and you can have one right here, too. Just put one right there. Now then. Hmm... I think we're also... I think that should be it for furnishing. You got your nice little setup for a bed. All this other crap that you probably don't need in Minecraft. So, we're going to add in the finishing touch. If you'll follow me up to the roof. Actually, no, that's going to cut in too harshly. Put in some birch. I'm mean, not birch, some spruce wood. That way it doesn't... It'll still cut into the design of this roof anyway, but it'll blend in a little bit more. So we're going to step up to the roof. And... Now, it may just be me, but... Whenever I'm building something in Minecraft, and I go for a finishing touch, I, I kind of want something special, so... For the finishing touch on this roof, we're going to go ahead, and we're going to put a machine gun on the roof. Yeah. Or better yet, we could put a cannon. What do you think? Machine gun or cannon? 
Hmm. I think a machine gun would be a little bit easier to build. So... Now, being as which this ta this house right here, and just excuse me, let me just block this up quick. 